As a parenting student in college, some of the major barriers that I faced um, were being isolated, uh, funding, not knowing where my resources were, and honestly just feeling like I was doing it alone. Currently, mass media have not paid much attention to student parents, who actually makes up 22% of all undergraduates in this country. The Parenting Student Summer Intensive Transfer Experience, or as we call it, Parenting Site. It's a three-day residential program designed to motivate and inform student parents who are enrolled at a California community college. The goal is really to understand the barriers that student parents face as a collective. Before the Parenting Site program, I wasn't even entirely sure if I was going to transfer to a four-year institution or if I was just going to get an AA. I wasn't sure how far I could go with the resources that I had. It never occurred to me that I might want to do research. I really didn't know because I didn't have experience in that area and I wasn't sure I would be able to do it while taking care of my children. I think the Parenting Site program made me feel more seen as a parenting student and how in a lot of our community colleges we felt unwanted. I think talking about that in the Parenting Site, it, it was substantial in like feeling like, oh, we're seen, you know, we're out here. There's actually a lot of people who are dealing with this parent-student life and I didn't really know that. I feel like my actual identity as a student parent became more um, clear to me and something that I could be proud of after Parenting Site. I didn't actually think of those as one thing. I thought of myself as being a parent and I thought of myself as being a student or attempting to be a student. And the two things didn't seem like um, compatible. And it wasn't something that I talked about with other students or my professors. Uh, it was something that I almost felt like I had to apologize for if I had to pick up my child because they had a fever. Who else is going to pick up my child if they have a fever? And I realized that it wasn't something that I need to apologize for. But more importantly, my identity as a parenting student became a source of strength and a source of pride. And I could see myself as being a person who had more to offer as a parenting student and not less. Although those barriers still exist, the parenting site helped me a lot in terms of navigating those barriers, finding the resources that, that would help me become successful, making the human connections with mentors. I was able to gain access to information about financial aid, about scholarships. I was in touch with other students and mentors, maybe daily. Anytime I had a question, I could reach out and, and find those answers. We shared a wealth of information with each other and also learning about, like for example, at UCLA, the Students with Dependent Center. I had no idea that there was a place carved out for parenting students at a school like UCLA. I think the parenting site made my journey at UCLA. I don't know that I'd be there without the parenting site just because of really the empowerment. I mean, I was thinking of one word I could use to describe the experience and one and it would be feeling empowered and feeling like I can do this, this is totally attainable for me. Um, having the foundation of friends that I have, some of them who are going to grad school with me, you know? So, <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Parenting site is now going into its fourth year and we are looking for ways to scale this pre-transfer program so that more four-year universities can provide this program to student parents at community colleges. The goal is really to shed light on this invisible identity, making the invisible visible. After the parenting site program, my educational goal has shifted dramatically. I could see where I was going. I had a goal and I could see it. And I was truly excited about my future. <laughs>